really disturbing video supposedly is about to be coming out tonight in this uh, yesterday in Memphis. Five uh, cops were indicted uh, for murder. And uh, here is a clip of uh, Rovan, is that her name? How do we pronounce it? Wells? Um, the mother of, the, of, of uh, Tyree, Tyree Nichols. Nichols, who was murdered. Uh, who was murdered by the cops. He, 25-year-old uh, guy, I think it was, right? 25, 26? Yeah. Uh, excuse me, 29. And um, they stopped him at a traffic stop. That escalates. Again, we haven't, we haven't seen the video yet. The city has been uh, bracing now for more than a week of the re of release of the video footage uh, that apparently is just b a brutal to watch. Um, and uh, Tyree's mother has, in uh, audio I heard today, I don't think we have that, we have an interview with her on uh, Democracy Now! and this part of the family, basically said, you know, peaceful protests. Um, that's what Tyree would have wanted. And here is um, Amy Goodman interviewing uh, Tyree's family and I believe uh, with Tyree's lawyer uh, or the family's lawyer. Uh, Benjamin Crump. Tyree has a four-year-old son. Tell us more about who he was, um, about his skateboarding prowess, um, working at FedEx, coming home for lunch uh, each day to you. Just talk about how you want us to remember him. I want you to remember Tyree. Tyree was, he was different. Tyree didn't follow everyone. He was his own leader. Um, he had a beautiful soul and he touched everyone. The boy smiled all the time. He loved his mother's cooking. He loved his son. That's why he came to Memphis in the first place, to be with his mom, build a better life for him and his son. But Memphis took my son away from me. Uh oh, I have nothing. Tyree had a tattoo of you on his arm? He had my name, on a tattoo of my name on his arm. Um, so uh, this is going to be a, uh, a tough, uh, you know, a, a, a evening in terms of this video. Uh, obviously, we will we'll, we'll have seen it over the weekend, but um, just another example of of this uh, going on and you know and how systemic it is i mean there were five black cops right and and so i'm seeing a lot of like <laughs> you know kind of cynical commentary on it but this is what structural racism is yeah i mean i think the bottom line is that there's a problem with the police which is what um people have been saying uh, in this country and there was uh, the idea of any type of like, you know, uh, re reform, um, there was a lot of support, even, you know, as late as like in September of 2020 for uh, Black Lives Matter. And it had gone down from over the course of the summer, but not dramatically. And uh, yet, you know, we watched the... The Republican Party didn't care, but the Democratic Party, uh, basically, guys who ended up losing in New York State, begin to sort of create some narrative that this was somehow, despite the fact that it was popular, was an electoral detriment. And Biden which it absolutely wasn't. Like, no, but that's the point. Yeah. I mean, Biden was chanting "fund the police" the, the, at the State of the Union yeah. over Demo and over the again. Democrats benefited massively from uh, the George Floyd protests, and they didn't deserve it. It was right. a fundraising opportunity for them. They've done nothing on legislation. In, in fact, they've done they've the, opposite the opposite and argued for the opposite. The opposite. And so, like, the, my my point is just that structures and and institutions can be racist. It's not about the individual. We have a racist police system in this country that gets away with murder tom hartman had a piece and he, he just it was actually really it was a great piece where he laid out how 
how common it uh, it is in the United States relative to other countries for police to murder people. It's 30 times more common in the United States than in Germany and the UK. Yep. Like, I mean, just just think about that. And I mean, this is the uh, this is the point. It's not enough to lock up individuals in these instances. You need to reform policing in this country. That there's really no other. There, the, the the police should not be in charge. There should be way fewer places and way fewer situations. <laughs> yes, I, I there's like absolutely no reason for them to be doing traffic stuff. Like I'm not I'm not sure Spain is probably dealing with like homelessness and stuff as well as anywhere, but it struck me when I was there a year or so ago like they had vans that were there just to uh, um, address emergency situations with people who weren't armed. Yes. <laughs> like mental health stuff. Well, you, you, there's no reason why you need <laughs> armed police doing traffic stops. Exactly. You don't. It's ridiculous.